Hello. Today, well, this is my first tutorial. So today I'm going to show you how to make a glass in Maya. Um, let's start with creating a polygon primitive. We need to find this cylinder. So there it is. Uh, let's zoom in on that. I'm using the middle mouse wheel and to zoom around to orbit, I'm holding down Alt and the left click, left mouse button. Okay. So we want to make this a bit longer because it's a bit too short to be a glass. So I'm going to hold down right click, select vertex, select the top few vertices up here, and then press W to go into the move tool and drag these up. Okay. Kind of a glass size. <coughs> okay, I'm going to press F8 to go back into object mode. And uh, yeah, get that into view. Okay, so so we need there to be a rim around the top of the glass. So to do that, I'm going to hold down right click, go to face, select these top faces here, and then hold down control and left click, drag to deselect these other faces. This is a much quicker way to select faces than to you know be clicking them individually like that. So let's just go back there, Z to undo. Okay, so we want to we want to bring these in to create the rim around the, the edge of the glass. So I'm going to hold down shift, right click, and then go to extrude face. So to bring these edge these faces in, we need to click this this square at the top and then drag on the middle square there to about the rim of a glass. That kind of length. All right, we need to use this tool again. So I'm going to press G, which repeats the last tool that you've used. Um, press 4 to go to wireframe so we can see a bit better and I'm going to drag this down to a decent level. Okay. Nice. Okay, press F8 to go back into object mode and 6 to go back into shaded view. Okay, so we want this rim. Let's well, okay, what should we start with? Let's bring this out first. Okay, so hold down the right right mouse button and go to vertex and select these vertices. Uh, press R to go to scale tool and then let's drag these out. Kind of a bit more of a, a glass shape. Like that. Now the next thing we want to do is to we want to trim these corners because they look a bit too sharp. Okay, so to do that, we're going to right click, go to edge mode, uh, double click on this edge, hold down shift, double click on this edge. This will select the entire loop. Then we want to trim these corners off, so hold down shift, right click, go to bevel edge. That doesn't look quite right, so let's um, reduce the fraction here. This will reduce the amount of bevel that you're using. That looks about right there. Okay. I press eight, press F8 and go back into shaded view. You can see these corners are still a, a little bit too sharp. So I'm going to click this again, go to my bevel tool here. If this, if the attribute editor isn't showing, then press control A. That'll switch between the channel box and the attribute editor. So we want to smooth off these corners. So it's really easy to do. Just go to smoothing angle, put this up to about 60. And then you've got a nice smooth corner uh, without without using too many polygons. This would be perfect for game design or virtual reality applications. Okay, so let's do the same with the bottom. Hold down right click, go to edge mode. While we're at it, let's do this inner edge here. Double click on that to select the loop. So hold down shift, hold down right click, go to bevel edge again. Reduce the fraction here. Let's add a segment to give it a bit more of a curve. And smooth this angle to about 60 again. And there you have it, object mode. There's your glass. How long did that take? There you go, well done. 